Hey Simleys and welcome to part 39 of Let's Play The Sims 4. I can't believe we're actually almost up to part 40. That's really exciting. Uh, but anyways, in the last part, Cody here aged up. I've just changed his hair to a brown color so he's not quite as gray. And some of them are still, <laughs> some of them are still actually in their Christmas clothes from when they just had their Christmas party. So I'm going to change back to every day now. Things are coming back to normal. I hope you guys had a really good Christmas. Um, and I right now will be in Tasmania. So those in Tassie might see you around. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. All right. So Carter, where is Carter, Carter, Carter? Would really love Carter to maybe go on a date um, with one of his one of his lady friends. I think that would be a good idea. And he's in a great mood, so I think we'll give one of them a call. Let's see who we've got here. We've got Caitlin, who is kind of kind of hitting it off with Sandy as well, and Taylor. He's hitting it off quite a bit with Taylor actually. So maybe we'll maybe we'll go go see her. Uh, let's invite to a lot. Where are you going? Oh, he's wearing a different, different, uh, different outfit today. All right, so he should go with Taylor to maybe. Oh, well, we have been making the movies and shakers. That's that's actually going to be the art gallery we're currently building. Let's maybe go to. I wouldn't mind going to the park, or let's go to the juice bar can take them there, they can have a bit of a date, maybe Carter can have his first kiss, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> and, um, or has he kissed a girl yet? I don't think he has. No, he's just, he's just flirted with girls, he hasn't kissed any girls yet. Um, but I think it's time for him to start wooing the ladies, he's a bit of a ladies man after all, so let's get him to say hey to Taylor. Um, get to know. And who's this here? Kim Ebert. She seems nice. Okay, get to know. And uh, bright and day as well as have a little bit of a high five. <laughs> nice, nice. They're getting along now. All right. Everyone seems to be watching some game show on the TV, which looks pretty awesome. Let's get a juice, because this is a juice bar. Um, order drinks for group. Maybe they can get some buffalo wing tea. Taylor might be a bit of a fan of teas, we'll see. <laughs> she looks so excited. All right, we don't want to talk. Oh wait, no, she's the bartender. Oh, taking a selfie, cute. I feel like Carter is going to maybe flirt a bit with Taylor, but then go on another date with another girl. Um, I know that you guys really, really liked, is it Sandy? Yeah, Sandy Richards was very popular. Um, Caitlin Ruff's pretty cool as well. I think she has a great look about her. Nice to get some brunettes into the family as well, because we've gone through a lot of blondes. So. All right, Carter, are you just checking out the bartender? You totally were. I love this guy. This guy keeps appearing. Dennis Kim. I like him. We should make friends with him. These ladies are on the prowl, and the best they got is Dennis right now. <laughs> All right. Looks like he wasn't able to order a drink. No, since the update, I feel like um, I haven't been able to order drinks from the bar, but I mean, if they're not going to serve us fine we'll, we'll go over here and call Taylor to come over this is a really nice spot to kind of hang out the two of them uh, maybe we can sit together on a chair oh I wish they could sit together let's go here and see if she follows us and hopefully she does let's see where she at where she at still just sitting here it's too far to call over Hmm. I know she's going to come with us. Taylor, come on. <laughs> All right, maybe um, if we put discuss interests, she might get up and come to us. 
Or not, or she'll make us go to all the trouble. <laughs> Alright, Taylor. You wanna chat you up, girl? She's running away, though. It's no good. Okay. Having so much of a struggle right now. Okay, there we go. Uh, tell engaging story. Maybe. We'll brighten our day once again. And then ask about Woohoo. Just get to know her. And then we might we might start flirting a little bit. <laughs> I mean, Trinity, I know Trinity's obviously a girl, but she must have taught her son a few things. He's pretty hungry, he needs to pee as well. <laughs> Alright, how's their relationship going? So, they're friends. I reckon we can start flirting. Um, romance. Flat. I mean, I wish this girl wasn't here. Oh my god, we're not flirting with you, Carly. Okay, good, I thought she was taking it the wrong way. Yeah, Carly, this would be a good time to leave. <laughs> I think she liked that. Uh, reveal crush. Yeah, why not? Alright, let's see if he'll do it in front of people. Oh. Kata, come on, reveal your crush. It's like, I want to tell you something, but come over here and follow me. Oh, what? She didn't, he didn't do it. He backed out. You can't back out. Reveal crush. This time, Kata, this time. I'll sit next to her. Not so far away. That's so typical boy move. Oh my gosh, he's embarrassed. Uh, where can I hide? That was an awkward conversation. Well, she moved places, so maybe, you know, if we do a smooth recovery. Stop thinking about yourself, <laughs> Carter. And if we flirt again, maybe just... Uh-oh. Oh no, she's not liking that. Compliment appearance? Oh my gosh, this is a disaster. She does not... Like, she's so... Okay, apologize. Apologize quickly. <laughs> oh my god, that relationship went down quickly. Very awkward encounter. Maybe if we're just friendly a little bit more. Compliment outfit. Um, ask about woohoo. That's always a fun conversation. Oh, come on, Carter, stop being so embarrassed. Deep conversation. Maybe if we just up it a little bit more. It's a little there, a little bit closer. We can we can go for the flirt again. Right, let's speed it up a little bit. Oh, he's going to pee his pants. We don't want to pee our pants in front of Taylor, that's for sure. Oh, I just want her to like us, you know? I don't know. Ask a risque question, maybe. Which is a bit risque, but she might giggle and find it funny and appreciate it. Alright. Oh, there we go. Now, now we're on the right path. <laughs> Alright, uh, maybe ask on date. Yep. Cool. All right. We're on a date now. So she might, if we go to the park, she might expect, not expect, but just might be a little more ready for him to make moves on her, if you get what I mean. I don't know. We'll see. But I hope so, because they would be really cute if they had a kiss together. Oh, she's, she's feeling pretty flirty. All right. Let's do another flirt. I know you're hungry, but sometimes it's more important to get to know your date. <laughs> She's very pretty. I love her shoes. 
Okay, maybe you blow a kiss. Oh, Carter, you player. <laughs> it's just like, wow. Maybe flirt with your date whilst flirty. Well, maybe we need to have more choices. See if we can hold hands with her. Is that too forward? Aww. <laughs> That's cute. Is he feeling flirty now? He's feeling a bit tired. First kiss is there. All right, flirt a bit more. Actually, we don't want to flirt too many times. Attempt to seduce. I think that's a little bit much for you. Maybe we can try and embrace and then a first kiss. It's just past midnight as well, so it's pretty cute. Oh, nice one, Carter. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute together. Maybe do a kiss on the neck as well. Oh, I wonder what Trinity would think of that. Her boy out and at school tomorrow. He's out pretty late. An offer of rose. Ask to be girlfriend. I don't, I don't think he wants a girlfriend. I think he just wants to play the field a little bit. And he's just going to play the field because he is such a player. <laughs> well, we better head home, actually. Oh, looks like she's heading heading home as well. Chat with Taylor, grab a serving. Nah, let's just head back. Better say goodbye to her, though. Where'd she go? Maybe... Uh, where's just goodbye? We want to say goodbye. Oh, well, let's just bail. We'll bail. He's, um, he's not like, he's not that polite, Carter, I don't think he is. Like, he's a player, okay? He's gonna, he might bail on a girl. I don't know. I don't think you can have too high expectations of him. Don't get me wrong. I think that he'll grow up to be a lovely guy. But right now, he's just exploring his options, I guess. He'll learn, though. He'll learn. He has a great father as a role model as well, so... We shall see. We shall see. Alrighty, I'm ready for him to get home now. Anytime now. There we go. Well, he's been up pretty late. Oh, we still have the snowman out. <laughs> the snowman out the front. He's feeling very flirty, and I feel like he should just maybe. I mean, Cody's off to work in a terrible mood. Maybe Uncle Ashton can have a bit of a stern word. Now nah, let's just get Uncle Ashton to show off his muscles because he's like, good job, boy. <laughs> let's see. He's like, hey, check this out. <laughs> oh, funny. Maybe give him a hug. Bro hug. Oh, he's like, you kissed a girl tonight. Tonight. Nice one. <laughs> Alright, well, everyone's up. Like, it's not unusual for this family to be up at 2 a.m., let's be honest. He does have school tomorrow, though, so let's just get something to eat quickly and then um, go to bed. Um, get rid of that. Actually, I'll. Whenever I click on like the shortcut to go to bed he always naps like he never actually gets into bed so better fix that uh ashton 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 use the toilet get something to eat go to bed xavier how are you going you need to use the toilet and then it's liberty how are you doing she's doing pretty well she needs to get a job actually she needs to join a career i don't i mean her personality is that she's outgoing family oriented Romantic. Hmm. Let's just look for a career. Should find something. She's like, what's available? Oh my god, Carter. 
All right, she could be a secret agent like her dad and follow in his footsteps. She could be a painter, culinary criminal, entertainer. I feel like Desiree is going to be the entertainer because she's a musician. Um, Desiree, maybe Desiree should join the business career. I think that'll suit her. Yep. Getting her first big girl job. Awesome. All right. Well, I reckon she can just go up to bed. I mean, we need to also age up a couple of her friends. You know what? We'll get her to bake a cake so she can invite a friend over. And, um, because we have a million cakes in this family. Oh my gosh. But Desmond, we should invite Desmond over. There are a few other boys. I mean, she was interested in Miles, but they barely got along because he just stood her up all the time. So I feel like Desmond is kind of the one for her at this stage. There's also Nicholas Flamel, but I think they're best friends. So we might continue things with Desmond. Uh, so we might age him up. I guess Miles is still on the cards, but it would be nice to get her married and to start having a family of her own. Jesus. He's like struggling. <laughs> and he's uncomfortable because he's so hungry. He'll get there. He'll get there. All right, Liberty, woman of the house. Well, hopefully. I don't know where we should move her either. Like, do we move her to a smaller house? Do we build her a granny flat out the back? I feel like maybe we wait until Carter ages up to a young adult as well. And maybe Desiree, so then they can move out together and start uh, another generation, I guess, of these guys. All right, now this is ready. Let's... Uh, add birthday candles straight off the bat, and then we're going to put it in the fridge. We can invite Desmond over tomorrow. Okay, that's in there. I mean, do we work tomorrow? Yeah, 9 till 5 tomorrow. We can invite him over and tell him how our day went. Um, and you know what? While she's in such a good mood, let's get her to clean up a few things. Although... Speaking of which, I could just do that myself pretty easily. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's wearing his zebra pants. <laughs> Xavier, you hunk of spunk, you. He's like, oh yeah, I know, I know. Jesus, the music's pretty loud in the house. Let's maybe turn it off for nighttime. And clean out the spoiled food in here. We really want him to, I want him to get more of a tummy. He might have put on a little bit of weight, but barely anything. Maybe have breakfast, have some oatmeal, nothing too crazy. Some nice bonding here. Ashton's very proud of his daughter getting her first job. Can we congratulate her? Hmm. Discuss hydration. Discuss fitness te techniques. Let's discuss hydration. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if they're talking about hydration there, but they're talking about flies now. <laughs> it's nice family time in any case. They always use each other's kitchens. I swear it's because they just love spending time with both of the families. They're so close, they just decide to use their opposite kitchens. How's Carter going? Struggling a bit. How's his schooling going, actually? He's got a C grade. He has a vacation available for three days as well, so he could take three days off. And he hasn't done his homework either, but he's still pretty tired. He can get a bit more sleep. Desiree looking nice, listening to uh, music there. Listen deeply, because you do have the music trait. Is that any deeply than before? <laughs> She's so great. I like her. I like her a lot. Where's her guitar, actually? Should get her to practice some music if she's in a good mood. At 5.30 in the morning. They have very good sleeping patterns, don't they? Uh, let's... Oh, she can actually play something. Let's keep practicing. And I just realized I put Carter to bed in her bed for some reason. My bad. Oh, well, she can wake up her brother because she's such a nice sister. <laughs> Alright, Desiree, let's see if he wakes up. Oh, yeah, he's up. <laughs> it's 
like, why did you do that to me? She's like, get out of my bedroom. How about you go sleep in your bed? Oh, she's actually sounding half decent. Oh, her guitar's up to level three. Good stuff, Desiree. I'm proud. I'm a proud sim mother. Uh, can I say that? Sim, sim god? I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, these guys are fast asleep. Trinity. Oh, Trinity looks so much younger than Cody at the moment. Let's just get her out of bed. Oops, we don't want her back in bed. What are you doing, Dally? How about you go get something to eat? And Cody... You can afford to sleep for a bit longer. We really need to get Trinity to continue writing. And let's change the station to... Romance. Something nice. Or maybe indie. Do we have an indie? Alternative. Nice. Okay, medium. Cool. That'll get everyone moving in the morning. I think music in the morning is so good because it just gets you up and ready for the day. I know if you guys agree. Social's going down. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Desiree. Oh, she's a C-class student as well. This family's just not academic. Can she do her homework? Place in world. Do you want to maybe do your homework? Oh no, she's already done it. Awesome. Fabulous. Well, let's get you to maybe catch a few winks before you go to school. And when you go to school, you can be all sociable and whatnot. But that's all looking pretty good. I think, um, yeah, we'll get, we'll get Carter to be with someone. Um, I don't know, be with someone after school maybe. Or maybe we'll focus on Liberty in the next part, aging up. Uh... Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Desmond. Desmond. Aging up Desmond. Oh, Carter. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.